people available. Maybe they say, well, we don't want to just want to just blind pick that. We saw what happened. And he is running in the Lulu. I was going to mention this feels very strong here in KT's composition, especially with the Jacks. And that's why we saw these bands get so heavily targeted here for KT. They knew that Aphelios Lulu pretty strong. Here we go. Game number one of Saturday. Today, the amount of resources Peanut has given to the Tristown, I would say, have been well worth it. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's going to pay off as well. You want to get that Shiv as soon as possible on Chovi. Goes for back. It looks like he's waiting for the Shiv. Should be able to have it at, at, at one or three. Yeah. So there it is. Picks it up. Doesn't have teleport, but looks like a cannon wave coming in. Peanut here. Going to look for this Rift Herald now with the Drake going the way of KT. Says, well, this is going to be a back from Cuz. My Renekton's doing just fine. Yeah. Wait it. And you can see that the Rift Herald is going to be placed down here in mid already, Toby, with the Tristana putting on the aggression as, oh, knocked out of midair. And now we've got the Maokai on top of Toby. No hop for him. Doesn't even bother to flash away. That's first blood given over to BDD as he and Cuz are able to set that up in Lahens early on in the game. And now he has Divine Sunderer. And his team is taking the dragon. Yeah, he does not have teleport, though, so I don't know about... Okay, they're actually just going to get away with this as wow. Joby's just not able to get in here. So it feels like they're winning on both sides here in a huge way as Aiming's not even going to drop this whole wave. We'll be able to come over here and clean this one up. His CS depth ready to pop off in team fights, and I think is. You highlighted earlier, it is going to basically be Chovy versus Aiming this game. Uh, oh, Cuz. look at this. Catching Peanut now, and the Counter-Strike comes in. Will they get in there? There's the Wild Growth, and you cannot get away from this Jax. Delight is going to go down. Pace has to go to the Feather Storm as BDD's flashing away, but it's two kills to Keen already. BDD, though, getting isolated on the top side. Genji able to trade one back, but now it's a 4v3 in favor of KT, and it looks like the Croc will also be hitting the ground. Down he goes as Cuz is able to zone everybody else away. A that's big Herald. winning team fight to KT. Yeah, that should be Harold for them for free here. And that's the, the whole re- To miss. The, the question mark of BD on the Jace. I, I think he's been great so far, but definitely going to have to hit some of that poke in these upcoming fights. And aiming doesn't really have the best guns for this either. Yeah, it's Peanut. Very nicely done as the brushes are getting set up. We're getting the artillery here for the side of Gen G as is always the idea with this kind of composition, but KT definitely not gonna let this one go for free. Yeah, Shield's coming in. Yeah, Nature's Graph, Delight, trying to tank up in the front. Keen not gonna enter the brush. He's gonna get rooted up as now they're trying to take down Keen and he gets low and immediately the shutdown goes into the hands of uh, Jovi here. As you can see, the artillery setup is fantastic on the side of Gen G, so they take out the Jax. Jovi. But still a full health of Helios remains. Yeah, Jovi could, or rather, uh, Doran can teleport back in. Jovi's still trying to contest this. There's that TP. We're trying to do some big damage. Oh, he's going to take out the Ivern, and that is massive. That's going to be the go button here, but Jovi going to hop away to get the Ruda once again. But look at the health bars of Gen G. They're just getting wiped up in their own brush. A triple kill for BDD Quattra, actually, as he dives on in and wipes up Genji. That's probably game, Valdez, but I mean, it was such a close fight on a knife's edge. It looked like for so long, Genji had this one locked up. The brush placement was good. Delight absorbed all the pressure with his ultimate there, and it's ultimately... It takes a decent trade, actually. And Keen get his Baron empowered recall, and he has teleport. He did not use teleport in that fight. Doran had two health bars with his teleport in the last dragon fight. He now no longer has that teleport answer, and there's going to siege up this turret. Yeah, very good at doing that, that's for sure. The siege here on the side of KT is insanely good. As Keen's going to teleport on in, has the Counter-Strike, and Delight's like, well, I, I guess I'm just useless, nearly dies. As Stopwatch will be used here by Keen. Down will he go to land as in goes Keen underneath the turret, maybe going a little bit too deep this time around. Does not have the Counter-Strike, as now the Croc getting in there. Super low is aiming as KT may have overstepped their boundaries here. BDD not even a part of this one, looking for the shot blast. Will he hit it? Yes, he will. But it is not lethal. Toby will die. And then maybe the play works out. Keen can kind of survive from there. But yeah, you get that kill. You probably get way. the inhib like, yeah. straight up. Uh, they have to teleport into this fight here. Chovy going to get blasted. Uh, 
Uh, just taking a little bit of damage. He is extremely tanky. Oh man, this angle as Delight gonna take a huge amount of damage already before this fight even begins. Has to flash away, and that break of the will is nearing going down. As look at the ult over the wall! KT just shelling. They are actually the ones with the artillery. Their siege is insane. And the range at which they can do damage, Doran gonna go down as KT will just chip away at the rock that is Gen G right now. Lahen steals yet another kill, is on a killing spree. And he's looking for more. Not quite going to hit this one, but he will take down the light, no doubt, eventually, as Keen will take this one. It does feel like a done deal from here. KT barreling down the mid lane. Yeah, I mean, they could just go in here, grab this and hit. They could always kite back to the Infernal. Chovy's up in 30 seconds here. And I mean, if you push the end here, I think you've got a pretty good shot at it without Chovy here to defend, but let's see. Oh man, Flash Polymorph, they want to put an end to this. The Counter-Strike comes in, Pays not even allowed to press any That's buttons. That's it. Nor did he have any. 27 minutes, and KT Rolster will take game number one in flying fashion. A very dominant game to start off this series. Very dominant win here for KT Rolster. And what I love most about how they played this game out was how they were never afraid to disengage on the Alistair. As there were always angles that Delight was looking for to maybe deny 